Hello Internet! Well, I wasn't going to film this, but it seems on the forums quite a few people are interested in this subject, so well, I thought I'd do it. Um, it's a well, pretty good weekend to be honest, nice and warm, um, and a few clouds in the sky. So let me show you what I'm going to do, and if you're not interested, you can switch off now, or you could subscribe, that'd be nice too. So, slowly been tidying the Tiger up. Um, this is one I bought um, relatively cheap, but it was a bit of a heap to be honest. I had a lot of work done to it. Um, I let's just recap. So, I, I had four new tyres put on it by a uh, supposedly reputable garage um, in Peterborough, um, who basically um, managed to scratch the wheels up for me. Of course, they denied all knowledge. They also lost some of the centre caps, so I had to buy new centre caps as well. They, they were pretty rubbish. But, uh, yeah, when I came to pick it up, um, look at that. Hmm. And I'd freshly sprayed these about, yeah, probably about a month, maybe two before. Um, you can see there's that one there. Um, that one, yeah, they managed to mark it just there as well, so... Let's have a look at the other one as well. I think it did most of them, to be honest. Oh yeah, managed to scratch that one as well. I have no idea how they managed to do that. I'll be honest, but um, yeah, such is life. A bit dirty, obviously, but uh, yeah, even that one was all marked up and, and gnarled around the around the edge. So I'm going to um, take the worst and spray them up. Simple as that. So you're going to join me for the journey, or you're going to switch off now. Entirely up to you. Let's get on with it. So that's the wheels off, and uh, obviously now, rub them down. There you go, all rubbed down, just got to blow them off with an airline and get a little bit of filler and uh, obviously fill or skim fill the worst of the gouges. Um, yeah, I can't believe somebody um, driving a car would not hear that. Anyway, here's what it is and uh, I'm now fixing it. So, right, let's blow them off and then let's get the filler in. A little bit of filler in my wheels. <laughs> Sorry. And back to the tool again for rubbing down time. There you go, all rubbed down, blown off, prepared, ready for some paint. Looking good. Right, let's get them masked up. And there you go, all masked up, including the valves as well. Now, I know when it comes to masking, everybody has their uh, own opinion of how these should be done. Um, playing cards, bits of uh, cardboard, cereal boxes. To be honest though, I quite like masking tape, it's flexible, does the job, and it's cheap as chips really. So that's what I do. And for this job, I use the finest quality white primer from Tetrasil. It's alright, does the job. And for my tack cloth, I use finest quality kitchen roll. Yeah, don't get mad. Light coats, fine dusting each time. That's all you need. Build the coats up nice and gradually. I'm no expert, but 
There was a Pama Beaver sprayer many years ago, a very long time ago. And I know that spraying, you just gotta take your time. Nice and steady. And when you've got your first coat on, you look for little blemishes that you want to quickly touch up as well. Right, let's get on with it. And there you go, a couple of coats on. And this is where you notice where you forgot to rub stuff down. Look, just there. Look, look, I missed it. There you go, had four thin coats and looking good. So, going to let those dry for a couple of hours and then give them a quick rub down with some wet and dry paper. Get a nice smooth finish on them and then it's uh, ready for the silver. Going well. So there you go, all dried off and gone over them with some thousand grit just to denib them. Uh, obviously use my wonderful tack cloth which is kitchen roll. And now time for some silver. Again, nice and steady. And the first coat on. Yeah, leave it 20 minutes, half hour. I'll give them another coat. Two may do it. Maybe three. Then after that, lacquer. Second coat on. Will they need another? Mm, maybe a quick one. Yeah. Even got the caps done. Super. And there you go, had a few hours to dry. And now, a couple of free coats of the old lacquery stuff. And that's it. Took a couple of good coats of lacquer. And then I'm going to drop them out in the sun to do some baking. Are they perfect? No. Are they better? Oh, without a doubt. Are they good enough? For that old crate? Without a doubt. Much, much better. Yeah, like I say, it's not a professional job, but it's a hell of a lot better than it was. And now, at least they won't look all beaten up and scratched. Which was the aim. So, if you're doing it yourself, have fun, it's not an easy process, but well, it is, yeah, but it's a lengthy process. I think that's what I more mean. Just takes a lot of time, don't rush it, take your time, leave a good sort of three quarters an hour to an hour between coats, and you'll be all right. Right, I stick them out in the sun to bake, and then I'll do a quick shot of them on the car. Another successful job done on the Tigra. And that Biggles is gonna ruin the video. Thanks Biggles. And there you go, another quality bodge, well done. Are they perfect? No. Is the car perfect? No, far from it. Does it look a lot better? Definitely. And for the price of a couple of spray cans, well, worth doing. Right, I'll do for now. Catch you later, internet. Have a great day.